Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. Now whether you're doing a interesting you know craft project or want to embellish a, a wood piece or a box you're making, I was going to show you a neat little craft project they did. It's a, a, a way of marbling paper or cloth or blocks. This is a block of wood that I marbled to give you sort of an interesting effect. And uh, it's kind of interesting. I think it's called Embro. And uh, it's an ancient art of using paint on water. And I'm going to give you the steps on how to do it. And you too can make these cool things to either hang on the wall or make cards. And I have a Cricut cutter, so it's kind of nice to be able to make kind of custom paper with colors and swirls. But uh, let me show you the process how I made these swirl paper. So we first start out with a little aluminum sulfate or alum. We have to take alum and mix with water. Uh, it acts as a color binder, fixing the colors permanently to the paper. If alum is not applied, the marbling will just, the colors will run right off. So we put a quarter cup of the alum to four cups of water and make sure it's warm when you do it so it will uh, dissolve it pretty well. And because I'm a woodworker, I can't pass up an opportunity to do a little bit of a project. So this is just a little board that I made so I can put the paints in, so I can stand them upright. Uh, after I run them through the planer, it worked out pretty good so that they wouldn't spill. This is acrylic paint, it can make a mess, so that's my little holder. The other one is I made these combs that I'm going to use for raking through the, the uh, liquid there, um, so that uh, we can make the squirrel marbling pattern. So what we need next, the carrageenan. The carrageenan is sort of a powdered seaweed that gets mixed in the blender. This is the liquid in which the acrylic paints will float on. And uh, you just mix it up in a blender. You need a gallon of it, so I did a couple tablespoons to a couple quarts. I mixed it all up. Once it was thoroughly mixed, I poured the thickened liquid into the container I was going to uh, do the painting in and then I just added another two quarts of just warm water there to it. So what I'm using here are eyedropper and I'm dropping the paint. In this case I don't think I mixed it really well it was very light green and then you'll see that as you add the next color to it it actually doesn't mix it actually drops one on top of the other given this pattern and you gotta experiment with it, you can swirl it, you can keep them as it is but as a first attempt I think it's kind of a cool effect here so I got that rake that I made earlier and I'm gonna just run it through it again this isn't a first attempt so it wasn't that successful but it did swirl it up pretty well went back a couple times just to give a good pattern and now it's time to dip the paper in there and see what it looks like. Well, thanks for spending a few minutes with me while I try something a little different. Uh, this technique I was going to use because I was planning to make some boxes, I wanted to see whether this would work on wood, and actually it worked out really well. Um, I think the colors are really vibrant, and it really, you know, I think it came out pretty cool. It would be a fun project to do with the kids or, uh, you know, to order a kit. I got this all on Amazon, and one kit had everything in it that I needed. But, um, but I think it would be fun to try, watch some videos on YouTube, maybe you can uh, learn some techniques other than what I showed you here. And I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me on a non-woodworking project, so uh, thanks for watching. This is Chris Demetric from TDW Woodworks, and have a great day.